Nigga, you a bitch. Nigga, you's a mark. Nigga, you's a lame. Nigga, you's a nerd. Nigga, you soft. Nigga, you frail. Nigga, you look like you a tail. Nigga, you's a buster. Nigga, you's a sucker. Nigga, you look like if your bitch told you she fucked another nigga but said she won't do it again. Nigga, you look like you a truster. Nigga, you's a weirdo. Nigga, you scary. Eric, nigga, you look like your name Gary. <laughs> Man, oh man, let me just say this. I love The Rock, the people's champ, the Brahma Bull, the final boss. I think he's wonderful. He's my guy. But who would have thought that he would be the one to put the final nail in the coffin for Henry Cavill's Superman and the Snyderverse? So there was this whole big expose on Dwayne Johnson by The Rap. How The Rock basically is a diva on set always showing up late, pissing on bottles somewhere Brock Lesnar just got turned on. And there was also a segment on how Dwayne Johnson wanted to run DC Studios and basically turn it from DC Studios to Dwayne Studios. So here is a brief segment of that article. Matters all came to a head in 2022 when Johnson and Danny Garcia, The Rock's wife, met with Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav on not only inserting Superman back into Black Adam, which failed, but according to four insiders with knowledge of the meeting, positioning Seven Bucks, Dwayne Johnson Studios, uh, to run DC and replace then-chief Walter Hamada, excuse me, Walter Shitmata. An individual close to Seven Bucks said that the meeting was about Black Adam, an introduction to Zaslav, who had just taken over the studio. This person denied that the meeting was aimed to pitch Hiram Garcia as a replacement for Hamada. Now, Hiram Garcia, I believe, is uh, Dwayne The Rock's manager. Garcia wasn't hired to run the unit and Johnson and Seven Bucks were evicted from DC shortly after the hiring of James Gunn and Peter Saffron to run the division. Now, looking back on all of this, Hindsight is 2020, and probably this is the best decision that David Zaslav made in hiring James Gunn and um, and uh, Peter Safra. Because again, it seems like The Rock wanted DC to just be Dwayne all the time, 24/7. Like Black Adam versus Superman, Black Adam versus the Justice League, Black Adam the the whole entire universe, and it's just like listen. Black Adam is not really that significant of a DC character, but of course it's The Rock. The Rock has a big giant ego and he wanted to be the face of DC, which again, not the best way to go about this because the face for DC should be what? DC. <laughs> so, um... Uh, let's see. Additionally, former Superman actor Henry Cavill fired Danny Garcia as his manager as a result. So remember that time when Henry Cavill posted that video saying, Hey everyone, I'm back as Superman. I'm so glad to be back. I love the character and I promise to bring joy and optimism to the character that I love. And I'm excited for the future of Superman. And then what? Like a day later or two days later? Henry Cavill went back on social media to be like, oh yeah, everyone, um, I'm not back. Uh, I'm not Superman anymore. <laughs> no! Fuck! And that is why Henry Cavill fired his manager, Danny Garcia, The Rock's ex-wife. And I don't blame him at all. Because imagine just going on your public forum and telling the entire world that you're back as Superman only a day later to completely retract your statement like Henry Cavill was made to look foolish and it's it's a sad state of affairs but again you know the DCEU wasn't working they had this whole big rollout it was like Henry Cavill's back as Superman and Black Adam and Black Adam's gonna be this massive hit for Dwayne The Rock Johnson and it was not nobody cared 
Nobody cared because general audiences were completely done with the DCEU Snyderverse. They, they were just over it. They didn't care anymore. They, they were tired of it. And that's why, you know, they're super excited for James Gunn's DCU. And they want a complete rehaul and rebrand. And I'm so glad that James Gunn and Peter Saffron were the ones to take over the DCEU because they're going to put DC front and for, first and foremost and make that brand the way it should have been a long time ago, the A-plus brand, where they can completely overtake Marvel in popularity if James Gunn and Peter Saffron do it right. And I think they will, or at least they will damn, <laughs> damn near try uh, to, to really repair the damage that the DCEU uh, really, just, really just took. And it, it's a shame. It's a shame, but hey, everything happens for a reason. You know, The Rock, he's done, and Henry Cavill's done. So, all... But hey, you know, we'll see how, how it shakes out for them. But uh, the DCEU or the DCU, uh, I'm super excited for where that where that goes with James Gunn. So that's going to be it. Hit like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, TikTok, and let me know in the comments below. What do you think of all of this news uh, with The Rock trying to make DC the Black Adam verse? <laughs> Which was uh, which was a huge mistake, and Henry Cavill just unfortunately, you know, playing the fool in this whole game of chess. Love you all. Stay safe. Truth out. No way. I am not bipolar. I'm not in some kind of episode, but I may be slightly autistic. <laughs>